Howdy folks, uh, my name's Greg Hall, Bar Diamond H Quarter Horses, uh, good buddy of Travis over there at Ellison Equine Solutions and uh, today we're out here checking some yearlings and uh, stumbled across a noxious weed out here in the northwest corner of Kansas. Uh, we've got these things called musk thistle. Uh, kind of a nasty looking weed. They got a lot of little thorns on them and whatnot. And uh, you know, these things, if you don't stay on top of them, they can take over your pasture. They'll take over all your native grasses and make less grazing for your cattle. And uh, they'll, they'll overthrow a whole pasture lickety split you know so you gotta stay on top of them a lot of people spray them uh what we like to do is whenever we see them we automatically the best way of get rid of them honestly is with a shovel just old-fashioned sweat and it stinks but yeah you, know, you got to do it it's part of the pasture maintenance so we just get down in the root system here and pop that whole thing out and then uh there you go we caught it before it started to head. If you want to bring the camera in, this here would start to develop a flower and it'd be a purple flower. And uh, you know, once you start seeing that, then uh, you need to pick that first because that will develop a seed and a seed head. And so when that wind blows, it'll blow that seed all over the place and that's what's spreading this stuff. So, uh, now what's the difference between the musk and the Canadian thistle? Well, they look, they look real similar. This one's a lot greener, as you can tell. A Canadian, we do have Canadian tear, actually. Come down here. These are some smaller Canadians that haven't quite matured yet, but as you can see, they're kind of frosty. They got little frosty tips, and they're kind of like that mint color. They're also a thistle, but they don't grow at near the rapid pace as a musk thistle does. And we really, out here, we really don't worry about them. Some states do. Uh, out here in Kansas, though, Kansas doesn't consider it to be a noxious weed, so we don't, we don't really mess with it. Uh, if I do have a whole bunch of them in one area, I will, I will dig them up. But I, I try not to really mess with them because then I'd be out there all dang day. Yeah. Let's take a clump of that and bring it over by the musk and then they can kind of see the difference here. So the channel that we have is not only talking about horsemanship and tips, but also ranch life and the cowboy way and trying to be educational for everybody. Yeah. As you can see, you know, that's kind of frosty and this one here is really green. That's the difference, y'all. So if you find one that's real green, dig it up. If you find one that's kind of frosty, you can probably leave it like because I mean they'll 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 grow and but they're not gonna grow and spread at near the rate and they won't take over all your grasses. So that's your tip of the day. Have a great day. Thank you. Mm -hmm.